Hey, me Tam. Tammy Lowe, Lazy Northern Gardener in Macomb Township. And I wanted to talk a little bit today about sunflowers. Sunflower, sunflowers. So, first of all, let me come on over here. Switch it around. Here is what a sunflower bloom that's just opening up looks like. Isn't it cute? This is super cute. Sunflowers are pretty hardy as far as taking abuse. Wind, worms, chickens. You can see they're still growing even though the chickens have been eating the leaves. Doesn't seem to phase them. They do enjoy the leaves. Um, but they st And they still do grow even though the chickens are eating them. But here is a bloom. It's just starting to open. Down below you can see here's another bloom stem right here. And then leaves underneath and then another bloom stem here so once this opens if I want to take this as a cut flower that's fine because I've got more flowers coming down coming into bloom down here it's not gonna hurt it at all the other thing with sunflowers is the bottom leaves they start getting um, brown or whatever just yank them right off at all to get the bottom leaves here these top leaves are more of the uh, solar panels for the energy for sunflowers. And I would try to leave those alone if you can for a bit. Now, if you go to cut the sunflower as a cut flower, you could actually come down as far down. You could keep coming down. There's no bloom here. There's no bloom here. So you could cut all the way down to here to where the next flower bloom is. Nothing else is going to be here. So if this is a cut flower in there, you can rip the leaves off, use these as your main cut flower if you like, and they're going to be just fine. When you're going to plant uh, sunflowers, it's good to think about things that contrast. I've got cosmos right here that are really frilly. Also when you're going to think, when you're thinking of growing sunflowers, typically, <laughs> typically they're going to follow the sun. The sun is over here though, so I'm not sure why they have their backs to the sun. Maybe they're getting a suntan over there. Maybe they're confused by the bright um, shade cloth I've got over here. <laughs> but usually they follow the sun. And actually the sun is kind of right overhead, so they might change by the time sunset comes. But they may not. They come in all different kinds of blooms. So this is not the traditional sunflower you would see like at the side of the road this one is more like that where it's got the center and then the petals and they're going to be a lot larger the ones you see at the roads and all kinds of pollinators come to sunflowers all kinds of pollinators love sunflowers so if you can grow them it's a good thing for your pollinators every little petal inside here is attached to a seed that when the pollinators come and they bring the pollen from other other place from another sunflower to over here um, it's going to make a seed that you could actually grow you can save them and you can grow them so you can tell this one is facing this way this one is facing this way like it's wind blown like its hair is like going backward this one is also a pollenless variety they make these kind of sunflowers without pollen, so you can use them in cut flower uh, arrangements and bouquets, and the pollen won't get on people's clothes, won't get on the tables, and that sort of thing. So pollenless sunflowers are available. You just have to go online, and if you, ha if you want a link to a place that sells that kind of sunflower, let me know and I will send it to you. I will be glad to send it to you. You can email me at thelazynortherngardener at yahoo.com or you could even message me through here and I will give you the link that I use to raise sunflowers that don't have pollen that are good for cut, cut flowers. All right, here is a similar variety, similar but it's more of a flat face. And again, this one doesn't have pollen either. If I were to shake it, if I rub it, there's no pollen on my fingers. This can be good too for people who have allergies. And, 
The one I just looked at was like a single stem. This one's got multi flowers all over. So I could easily cut off a couple and make several cut flower arrangements if I wanted to with these. But again, the pollinators come to it because they're looking for the nectar. Pollinators want nectar. The reason they call them pollinators, I don't know, oh, now they're fighting with each other, is if you look at a bee, when they're on a flower, you look at their legs, their legs will be covered with pollen just because they're in the uh, flowers that have pollen. So if this had pollen, the bee would come here, it would be walking around looking for nectar, and as it's walking, it's gathering pollen on its legs, like it's almost like accidentally, sort of, and then it would go to the next flower, <clears throat> and the pollen from its legs would go into the areas of the sunflower, or the regular flower that would um, make seeds, and that's how the seeds actually get uh, fertilized, and that's how you end up with baby sunflowers. <laughs> There's the birds and the bees for you right there. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> a similar thing happens when you have any of your vegetable crops where the pollinator goes from one place, and as it's looking for nectar, it picks up pollen, and it goes to another place, another flower, and as it walks inside the other flowers, then it places the pollen in that plant and that's how the uh, the fruit gets fertilized and turns into like in this case cucumbers so having these large yellow flowers around draws the pollinators in and they're like yellow yellow yellow, yellow. oh yeah here's some more yellow, yellow, yellow and they just keep going 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 and doing their thing you can see too how how thick these stalks are when I am done with this, when all the leaves are done, if I cut the uh, flowers off, etc., when the stalk is done for the winter or for the fall, I'll cut it at the base and I will leave all the roots inside. So just cut it right down at the ground and leave the rest of it inside. Here's another variety of sunflower. I think this is the teddy bear. See? And again, it's got a dark, this one's got a dark circle. It's got kind of like a flame leaves i guess and it's got a multi-flower right at the top i believe this is one of the pollenless varieties as well so if i were to just gently rub my finger in there nope no pollen another pollenless variety and if you've been growing sunflowers or if you just started growing sunflowers you might say well i want to save the seeds are they going to reproduce like the original yes the seeds that come in to play here will still recreate those these particular plants and the reason I know is because this year Tam did not plant deliberately any sunflowers every sunflower you see to this year in my yard is a volunteer that means what I did is I cut the stalk at the base down here at the ground when it was done. And then anything that had seeds that was like dying off and things like that, I just let it fall to the ground. And I just let the animals come and pick at the seeds and whatever seeds were left over were in the ground and they grew on their own. One thing to watch for, um, it's gonna be your Japanese beetles, but they don't eat a lot on the sunflower they really don't even if you have a whole lot of them the amount of damage they do to at least to my leaves is not that big I've noticed because they have a lot of leaves and again I want to try to preserve these top leaves these are the solar panels collecting the energy for the plant to make the food to be able to make the seeds and the flowers and the and more leaves and more buds buds but these are the solar panels for them and this one, that's a giant solar panel. But if I come down here, these leaves down here, they're not as vital or crucial. I could take those off. Like if I had other plants that needed more sun and I felt like this was giving too much shade, I could take some of those bottom leaves off and let some more sun in. Now in this case over here, I have crops that like the shade more. I have spinaches and um, Swiss chard on the other side 
and there's some <laughs> going to seed, some kale going to seed. I could put lettuces and things like that too under my sunflowers because they like the shade. And I would leave all those leaves because again, they like the shade. So they say, some people ask me, Tam, when is my sunflower? <sighs> Let me start this again. I can make it just a quick, a quick snippet of this. They say, Tam, when is my sunflower ready to pick to harvest for seeds, to keep the seeds? And I would say, none of these here are ready to pick, but this one is getting close. And the reason you can tell is it's got a bowed head. It's bent over now, like it's praying, like it's genuflecting, like it's bowing to something, like it's bowing to older age. I don't care what, what analogy it takes for you to remember that if you see a bowing sunflower, get ready to collect those seeds. It's also starting to turn yellow at the back. Yellow, brown for sure, it, it would be done. So the more yellow it gets, the more ready the seeds are. You can see this leaf is kind of curly cued. Now if I flip it over a little bit, the petals are starting to dry out. That's a good sign that you can harvest it. And if I can do this with one hand, if I look at the seeds themselves, remember I said every one of these little things is a flower and every one of these is connected to a seed. So I can see the petals are drying. And if I rub gently, these petals come off really easy and I can see the seeds underneath, okay? So if I want to save this sunflower from being eaten by the birds and the squirrels and the chickens, if it falls over, they could get to it. Um, and someone's already been eating the middle, it looks like. Then I probably want to put a bag over it, like a mesh bag to protect it. I could even put, because it doesn't need sun right now, I could even put just a brown paper bag over the top. Um, squirrels are going to probably try to chew through it, but I could do that if I wanted to wait a couple more days. Otherwise, I can snip it and bring it in, hang it upside down by this leaf. So picture this is the top here, and I've got a little rope, a little piece of twine or something, hanging this um, up inside to dry out safe from the birds and the squirrels and the deer and what else the raccoons the possums whoever else might love your seeds so that's how you tell when the sunflower is ready to harvest and like i said this one is very close if i wanted to grab it and i don't necessarily want the chickens to get it yet because these are good for winter these are a really good source of food for the winter to give them energy and they're like, yeah, but we want some. No, you can't have any right now. No, how about no? All right, so those are some varieties. I'll show you some more. And again, all of these sunflowers grew by themselves. I did not plant one of them, not even one. That's a volunteer there. I can't tell exactly what it's going to be yet. Um, it's got kind of, oh, it might be a red one. That'll be kind of fun because it's got kind of a red center right now. And it's got kind of like the, the like magenta veining here. So this could be really pretty. This damage down here, I could just pull those leaves off if I want to. Because, you see there's new leaves in there too. Those are actually flower buds. Because um, it's not going to hurt the plant. Again, the solar panels for the plant are on top. So if I don't like those leaves down there, I could take them off. I'm gonna leave them for right now. Here's another volunteer. This one had actually broken off slightly from the main stalk of this one here and it laid along the ground. Now it's facing the sun. It's getting its solar power from the keep going. I wish we were all like that, wouldn't it be great? We take a look in and keep on ticking, right? That's an old watch commercial. For those of you who don't know, here's another sunflower coming up here. And let's see, how can I show you the flower? How can I show you the flower? There is the flower. Look at that. 
It's kind of like bendy and it's black in the middle or really dark in the middle. And it's got these cool white all around the outside. I think these were lemon sorbet that I had grown out front. And because I think there was, and they were drying out on the, on the uh, stems. They were dry, the, all the seeds were drying out. So I took the stalks and I just like lean them against this fence post over here for the birds to go for it. So I don't want it to go to waste. See, that's the way it's supposed to look. Isn't that cool? I hope you can see it. Yeah. That's another variety of sunflower. Again, you don't have to grow the old fashioned sunflower that you see if you never liked those. They come in all kinds of colors and varieties. All right. Here's a volunteer up in here. Uh, and I think it's different than the other ones you saw too. Here's a volunteer up in here. Volunteer means it's a plant growing where you didn't plant it. Could be a weed if you don't like it where it is. You can move it, you could pull it, or you could just let it be and be pretty. So that's a little bit different than the other ones you saw. Okay, coming around here. This plant back here, I might lose my connection. These are not sunflowers, but they look like sunflowers, don't they? I got the little yellow on the top. Let's call the... Uh-oh, emergency. All right, so this is called a cup plant. It's a native plant to Michigan. It grows very well in Michigan. Again, natives grow very well. It's, it, I have three. There's one here and a smaller one there. They eventually are gonna fill up this whole space likely. And again, they look like sunflowers. They go well with sunflowers. They're a little bit different though. They're not the same family. And their leaves have this little cup that collects water and then the water collects bugs and the bugs actually will drink from the water and so will the birds. And I don't see any right now with some rain in it. You can see this one's got some shadows and some bugs in them. So they're attracted by the flowers. They're also attracted by the uh, water. You can see there is a Japanese beetle there. I'm not gonna freak out because I do have birds and other things that eat them. Um, and then there's a big old fat bumblebee on that one. And then there's a little honeybee on this one over here. So again, it's shaped like a uh, sunflower and the pollinators do love it and it's native. So that means once you plant it, it's you're really not gonna have to care for it much. You may have to divide them, you may have to pull them if they make little babies, if there's not enough space for them to grow. Anyway, cup plant looks like a sunflower. Here's a different kind of sunflower here. Small dark center, yellow leaves multi-stems. I believe that was another um, pollenless one for cut gardens. This one's, oh, this one's getting ready to go. It's starting to lean over a little bit. It's getting ready. That one there is nearly ready to pick. This one, this is fun. If I were to just come out and watch, I'm gonna see finches Yellow, like golden goldfinches come and land on the top and they're actually going to pluck and eat the leaves or the petals pluck and eat these petals they come and they pluck and they eat these petals and then they start tearing apart the sunflower seeds from the top here i've had a couple photos of that in the past it's pretty neat so those are about sunflowers the basics about sunflowers. They like a lot of nitrogen in the soil. They like to be well fed. So putting compost in there, composted manure is really good. Um, and they do like sun. Now, I've said before that full sun, at least six hours. Now for sunflowers, the more sun you can get, the better. They, you, they cannot get enough or not get too much sun. 
they're just going to grow really, really well for you with lots and lots of sun. All right, so eh, I'm hot. <clears throat> Came low, Lazy Northern Gardener, coming to you live from Macomb Township. And today we are talking about sunflowers. I have more out front, but I don't think I'm going to get all those photos. So, love you guys. Have a great day.